surviving in the wild, stealing food from other predators is not a rare thing. Any hunter can become a bandit if given the opportunity. So what happens to wild dogs, which are master hunters, when they try to steal food from cheetahs? Let's find out. Wild dogs steal cheetahs food, and what will happen next? The cheetah is considered the fastest predator in the animal world. It is difficult for prey to escape from their claws. Even the fastest antelope are no exception when it comes to becoming their prey. Cheetahs take down their prey quickly, but they rarely enjoy a full meal because of other predators. The wild dogs smelt the scent of their prey and arrived to see the cheetah enjoying their newly hunted trophy. After surveying their opponents, the wild dogs immediately attacked and chased away the cheetahs, then blatantly stole their food. Although the cheetah had eaten the most delicious parts, the rest was also lucrative prey for the hungry wild dogs. Wild dogs are the most terrifying force on the dark continent. With large numbers in their packs, they can attack even notorious predators to eliminate competitors. As ferocious beasts of the steppe, Lions and leopards can hardly avoid encounters with wild dogs, but when alone confronting a whole herd, the king of the steppes cannot avoid being attacked. Because of competition for food and territory, Wild dogs also don't hesitate to attack other species to steal their prey. Cheetahs with small bodies become the target of wild dogs. Whenever cheetahs hunt their prey, there's a risk that wild dogs will attack and steal it. Although very angry, the cheetah knows that it is no match for this pack of ferocious wild dogs. One stray dog is nothing scary, but 10 stray dogs become a nightmare for other animals. Based on their numerical advantage, wild dogs often steal food from cheetahs. Many times when their prey is stolen, cheetahs are very angry and will teach the wild dogs a lesson if given the opportunity. It is impossible to confront a pack of wild dogs, but if they encounter a lone individual, the cheetah will not hesitate to take revenge. The lone wild dog became a victim of the cheetah. It recklessly attempted to steal food from this predator, but failed, instead suffering a tragic end. Faced with a single wild dog, a cheetah definitely has the strength to attack it. Not only from cheetahs, wild dogs also love to steal leopard's prey because this predator often runs away when it encounters them.
He worked hard to hunt his prey, but before he could get it up the tree, a pack of wild dogs appeared. Tempted by lucrative prey, wild dogs cannot pass up a free meal, so they attacked the leopard. The predator hastily left its prey behind and climbed a tree to avoid danger. It could only watch helplessly as the wild dogs enjoyed its prize. Looking at how terrifying wild dogs attack wild buffalo, it's clear that even a large herd of wild buffaloes cannot cause wild dogs to falter. They quickly identified the target as a young wild buffalo. Then the wild dogs attacked, causing the prey to be separated from the herd. Eventually, the adult buffalo ran to save them, but were chased away by the predators. Once prey enters the vision of wild dogs, it is very difficult for them to escape, and this antelope is no exception. Even though they can run very fast, antelopes will still have to fall before the wild dogs. Unlike other predators, wild dogs hunt by means of chases. When their prey is exhausted, they rush forward to seal its fate. Wild dogs chase their prey up cliffs, but mountain goats can climb very well, which helps them avoid enemy attacks. We see, wild dogs are powerful predators, but they are not infallible. Even if the prey cannot escape due to their speed, they can still escape thanks to their skills. Sometimes leopards climb trees to escape from this predator when attacked by them. In fact, the leopard's prey is at risk from other large forces such as hyenas, cheetahs, and even lions. As a master of hunting and possessing great strength, wild dogs also very much fall into this list of dangers. Arnabar Steve is home to hundreds of species of animals and plants. Each species has its own behavior and survival skills. Leopards are no exception and every time after hunting they often bring their prey up to the tree to eat. So today let's follow the leopard's impala hunting trips and see how it carries its prey up the tree. Leopards defeat the impala and bring the spoils to the tree. On the leopard's favorite menu, impala is always the top prey that this predator targets. Today, like every other day, the leopard hunts is hides in the grass and stalks. Impalas appeared in sight. Immediately, the leopard attacked and defeated one young prey. Not eating the prey immediately, the leopard carried the prey up to a high tree, then began to eat. Leopards are the only species that carry their spoils up trees to hide. Watch the full video to learn more. Mm -hmm. 
we often see leopards hunt very intelligently, even when they appear prey without even knowing it. Clever and cunning predator is slowly approaching the impala. When given the opportunity, it suddenly leaps up and attacks its prey decisively. It delivered a deadly bite that made the impala cry out in pain and helplessness. If other carnivores devour their prey on the spot, leopards are different. They will carry their prey to safety. Predators often choose large trees and carry their prey up the tree. If you can't eat all of your prey, a tall tree is also an ideal place for leopards to hide their prey. They can eat it again the next day without worrying about other predators stealing it. If compared with Jaguar, Perhaps the leopard will not be outdone because jaguars have the advantage in sight and muscular strength. Leopards are very good at climbing. They can carry prey larger than its body easily up the tree. Of all the carnivores, the leopard is the only one that can climb trees. Putting food on the tree is the most instinctive for this big cat. So why is the leopard the only species that carries the carcass up the tree? Putting prey up the tree is one way leopards prevent prey from being robbed by other carnivores. Because they work hard, the hunt, but really enjoy a full meal. Other carnivores such as wild dogs, hyenas, and even other cheetahs can take their prey. Leopards, after a day of starvation, when they cannot hunt prey, they will steal prey from other predators. The act of stealing prey is too strange for animals in Africa. If they can't hunt, they will have to go hungry. So, the appearance of fresh piece of meat is always a great attraction for hungry predators. <laughs> Not only carrying their prey up the tree, the leopard's climbing ability also helps them escape before the pursuit of other predators. Thanks to the tall trees, leopards sometimes escape death when attacked. Therefore, tall trees are not only a place for leopards to hide their prey, but it is a safe place for them. They also have the ability to hunt on trees very skillfully. Prey such as monkeys and birds sometimes cannot escape the claws of leopards. Animals that live in trees or fly over are not alert, can be killed and eaten by predators.
The life of predatory animals in the wild natural world is never easy. In order to survive, in addition to hunting, they also have to fight to protect their territory as well as compete for food with other competitors. Today's video comes to an end. Thank you all for watching our videos. What topic do you want us to explore? Please comment below. Don't forget to subscribe, like and share this video to support us. Goodbye and see you in the next videos.